So this is just my manicotti noodles that I stuffed with some mozzarella and grape tomatoes. Now I'm gonna go ahead and grab some olive oil and we wanna just do a nice drizzle on top. This will ensure that our noodles do not stick together. Perfect. I have some already cooked ground beef here and I'm gonna put in some Rouse marinara, just like this. Ooh, kinda got all over the place. Half of my 32 ounce right in there. Give that a good mix with the ground beef because this is going to be our sauce for our delicious pasta one pan dish. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and put that right on top. Ooh, that tomato sauce is going everywhere. That's okay though. Right on top, just like that. Beautiful. Okay, go ahead and spread that on top of our, mm, that looks so good, you guys. Yum, yum, yum. Okay, now we're gonna go in with our seasoning. I have some Italian seasoning and we're just gonna sprinkle it right on top. Some garlic powder because you guys know i have to put garlic powder on everything some pink himalayan salt you can skip the salt if you're worried about the sodium some black ground pepper all right that's good for the seasonings now i'm gonna grab some fresh basil because we gotta add basil when you have mozzarella and tomato. And we're just gonna cut some bits just here and there right on top of our seasoning and our sauce. Just gonna add the nice little basil taste that we all love. Okay, that is looking so good. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and grab another noodle. Put your tomato, mozzarella, tomato, and mozzarella. And we're doing another layer right on top. I already have some prepped for us, so we're just gonna place them super quick because I am hungry. These all have those mozzarella and tomatoes right in there and that's just gonna make these extra delicious okay nicely right in there beautiful Whew. okay we're gonna grab the rest of our rouse marinara and we're just gonna pour it right on top now a little trick I like to do, and especially for this dish since we're using raw noodles, is I'm gonna fill this up with water. We're gonna get the rest of that sauce out and we're gonna add some water to help cook those noodles. I have that water in there and we're just gonna pour it right on top. That's just gonna help cook everything. Yum, this is looking so good. I'm gonna add some more basil quickly on top. Beautiful. Kind of just get that marinara on there. Don't worry, this is all gonna come together. All right, more marinara. Right on top. Beautiful, okay. We are almost done here. Get that covering all those noodles. We gotta make sure those noodles are covered. Last but not least, mozzarella cheese. Oh yeah, this is gonna be so good, you guys. Okay, use this whole bag because I want a crispy top. And just, just spread it out. Mm -mm -mm. All right, you guys, that is it. This is gonna be so delicious. 
My oven is set to 350 and this is gonna cook for 50 minutes. It's gonna be so good. Ooh, look at that. Oh, that cheese mm, smells so good. I may have used too much water, but that's no problem because it's still going to taste amazing. So just use about half of the water that I used and yours will be perfect. I'm going to go ahead and grab some Parmesan cheese and we're going to go ahead and grate this right on top. And you guys, I'm using the right side of the cheese this time, okay? And yes, I know this is a zester, but I don't have my grater and I really wanted Parmesan on this. All right, let's get a serving. I am ready to try this. I think I'm gonna get this. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah, those noodles are perfectly cooked. And remember we have that mozzarella and tomatoes. Some of the tomatoes came and started swimming out right here. I don't know if you see that. <laughs> That's okay though. That's just gonna make it extra delicious noodle is perfect pasta whatever you call it mm. 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 that is so good you guys you gotta try it mm.